All right, so our first question this week is, if you hope to later be hired by the company, should you make this known from the outset? Um, this is from at cv.consultants from Instagram. That is a really good question. Um, I actually ended up getting hired for a job through an internship uh, from high school. Uh, I had been interning with this company for uh, three years and they knew I was interested in doing it. Um, I didn't you know, immediately say when I first started, hey, I wanna do this, but um, I did make it clear at sort of the end of my internship, because like I said, it was three summers. I made it very clear that last summer I said, I would like to stay on after um, after the internship is over this year. So, what steps can I take uh, to get this position? And at the end, I, I went up to them. I said, I'm still interested in joining this um, sort of full time on a seasonal basis because I still have to go to college. So, what what steps can I take now? Can I audition? Can I can I interview? Audition. Yeah, so it was, for, <laughs> it was for a tour guide position on the Freedom Trail, which I still do on oh. weekends. I'm sure you guys know. You yeah. guys now know. Um, so it was... You did I, that for three summers before getting the shindig? I did. Wow. wow. Yeah. Dedication. I didn't do the same thing. I Like, now I give tours of Boston, uh, but at that time it was data management grunt work where they had me write things mm. out. But I have my name as a um, contributor to an app. Oh, so that's cool. Grunt work can be fun and give you cool titles. <laughs> that was a good idea to talk about working with the company at mm-hmm. the end of your internship because yeah. again, like internships are like the like learning experience and like mm-hmm. some people go into it not knowing if this is the right field for them. Yeah. So maybe like when you go in for an interview for the internship, yeah. don't outright say like I want to be hired here yeah. after because you really don't. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. also they have no reason to even, like, entertain the thought. Because they're like, yeah. we don't know who you are, we don't yeah. know what you can do. Yeah. Uh, like, all right, like, you're, that communicates, I think, mostly, like, a kind of, like, aggressiveness that I think most managers would be like, okay, pump, pump the brakes. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like you're, you're assuming that you're going to end up getting this position yeah. um, when it's not. It does happen a lot um, where companies will hire interns that they have, but it's not an automatic go. Um, so what I do was I constantly, I didn't constantly pump them, but I made it very clear that I was interested. Um, my second summer I said, Hey, you know, do you ever hire interns from here? And they said, well, we hired one a few years back. And they said, if you're really interested is you can talk to the guides because as an intern, basically what we were doing was crowd control. So we still dressed up, they had to dress up in a costume. Um, we still dressed up in costume, but we were sort of around the edges, you know, making sure that people who didn't pay for the tours didn't tag along. We just, you know, made, made it very clearly, you know, like, oh, this is a paid tour. Like, you're welcome to give us money, but you do have to pay for it. Got a lot of, oh, Goose the Freedom Trail isn't so freeze. Um, good one. <laughs> yeah. Nailed very it. original. <laughs> very good. Uh, and so we got basically management sort of things like that. Uh, but they said, you know, talk to the guide. Maybe they'll let you do a spot here and there. So I got to practice doing the job um, because I was in the office so so much I got to ask them you know what do you not like to hear at the auditions because you had to do a spot on the trail and you had to pretend that you were giving the tour like what do you not like to hear about they're like we're, we've already heard too many Boston comments don't do that we're, it'll upset us how do I do this job better so that's even if you're not asking if you can get a job after the internship do ask questions about how to do whatever job you're interested in. Totally. Better. Yeah. I think that's like a great thing you can be doing towards the end of an internship. Like mm-hmm. if just like, even if you're not trying to get a job from them, just to get a, a like get that last like ounce of learning out yep. of them, like go to them and be like, Hey, like, you know, as I'm exiting here, like, can you pass on any last bits of wisdom of like how I would get a job? And if you can be super cool and then like mm-hmm. turn that around. Awesome. But also if they're hiring for a position that you're interested in, submit an application you'll you know you can even talk to the hiring manager uh if you're in the same department and just discuss with them like oh you know what are you looking for from an applicant in this position um things like that uh just to sort of get a better grounding of it you can also it makes it easier if you're interviewing to explain how you're already an asset to the company rather than trying to convince them that you will be an asset Mm -hmm. And going back to the questions, 
Um, it also might be helpful if during your internship you like try and get a feel for what it's like to work there and ask people different sort of questions about like the environment or what they do or um, interns in the past and stuff like that might be helpful to know then if you do want to be hired by the end of it. Yeah, I know sometimes when you do an internship, some people will kind of be doing one job, but they'll be working with someone else, and then they kind of realize that that's the job they're more interested in. And you could also ask, like, hey, just wondering if you have any internships also available in that, and maybe next time you can work in that department and, like, build off of that relationship with them that way. But also, like, another thing that might happen is the company may want to hire you after the internship and you might not be interested. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That would um, be way more awkward if you, <laughs> yeah. if you like, express interest yeah. when you yeah. got there and then at the end you're like, uh, never mind. Right. Like, oh, cool. So you don't want to burn any bridges with that either yeah. by saying, like, no, I'm not interested in your company. I would just, like, say, I think I'm going to take some time to, yeah. like, figure out mm-hmm. what my next steps are and then maybe email them or go back to them later and be like, I found, like, a different direction, say, in, like, the nicest way possible. Yeah. But just in case they do offer you a job yeah. at the end of the internship <laughs> and you realize that's not what you wanted. There are also some internships sort of set up for you to get a job after my cousin worked in one um, over the summer. She's in law school um, where, at the end, they either offered you a job or they didn't. So I think as you get into sort of more graduate school, specifically legal, mm-hmm. you're might end up having those situations where they're setting you up to, if you want to, after you finish your degree, um, end up working for the company. Uh, I I used to work in a law office too, and we had a lot of people come in as sort of legal law clerks, and um, they weren't necessarily looking to work for that law office, but we did have um, one attorney who had been working there since she was, I think she started as a legal assistant, then moved on to a clerk and a paralegal and then went through law school and ended up working there. She might still be there. I don't know. I don't check in with them. <laughs> I think, though, you bring up something of, like, the interesting kind of, like, predicate to this question is, like, what kind of field are you looking at? And, like, for, like, very specialized yeah. fields, I feel like maybe this is a thing, but I, I think it's fair to say that, like, a lot of fields, this doesn't even, like, exist. Like, if you're doing, like a, like, a marketing internship or, like, for me, it was, like, game design internships, like, anything like that, like, I feel like there's a very built-in thing of, ironically, like, don't ask for this or, like, be very cautious when asking for such a thing because, like, those are very in-demand and, like, not very specialized. So I would say if you're if you're considering this, like, should you make it known from the outset, it's, like, make, do some research into that field and industry and like try to learn if like that's a faux pas because I can picture a couple places where like that's a faux pas for sure you can also get a feel during like the interview how what the um what your boss is thinking like I know sometimes in interviews they'll be like well where do you see yourself after this internship like would you and sometimes they just straight ask you would you Mm -hmm. be ever interested right it's not like a bad thing to say like I would be interested that's not committing to a job there at the Mm -hmm. end but just know that they might ask you that in the interview Yeah. yeah yeah Also feel, like, read the room. Um, I had several internships in college, and uh, none of them were ever going to pan out into full-time jobs. One of them, it was an independent publisher, and the team was me and my boss. Like, that was it. Um, And then I also worked for a nonprofit in Vermont that was the League of Vermont Writers. They did not have anyone actually, like, working for them, like, anyone who was on the board was, or not on the board, but who, who worked for the league was, like, had a, a separate job. So I knew for a fact it wasn't going to get hired full-time there. Uh, so if it's something like that where it's still a really good um, learning experience, and especially in, no, I'm not going to say especially in nonprofits because the Freedom Trail is a nonprofit, um, <laughs> but just, just sort of read the room, try to figure out based on, what the company is, what the internship entails, whether that's going to end up being a thing or not. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of companies where they're hiring interns for a reason. It's because they can't afford to have a full-time person, so they do band-aids of interns. That's great. So. <laughs>